So the little queefers at 2772 decided to make a little tutorial video. Oh no, a tutorial guys. A tutorial from little queefers. Some loser that's one of the worst retro gamers I've ever seen in my life, Darius Truxton. Sonic Superstars Trips Final Boss Tutorial Bracket Easy Way Close Bracket. I have never seen a more pathetic attempt to try to make YouTube content by this chinless queef. Double chin from one angle, chinless from another angle. This idiot, instead of actually going out there that, hmm, maybe finding a job, maybe actually working on yourself, queefy boy, maybe actually getting some money to support yourself and doing something in your life so you can get out of that disgusting, smelly, cat piss smelling apartment, you're gonna be sit at home and make a little tutorial video. Oh no, yeah, I would rather watch someone else's tutorial video who I actually can believe is a good gamer instead of you, idiot. You're the same piece of trash that's friggin' uh, struggling on Super Mario Wonder when eight years old can finish that in like 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 hours. May I remind you, Queefy Boy, okay? You have logged over 40 hours in Super Mario Wonder. That's how much of a loser you are, idiot. You know how much I've logged in Super Mario Wonder? Zero, okay, zero hours. You, on the other hand, Queefy Boy, have logged over 300 hours in Tears of the Queefy Boy, Legend of Zelda, okay? You know how many, you, know, you wanna know how many hours I've logged? Zero, why? Because I have stuff to do in my personal life. You, on the other hand, Queefy Boy, have no money and no car. By the way, it's raining out here in the uh, Toronto area here. So Queefy Boy, looks like you got a little bit wet when your uh, agency called you to get your sorry carcass off the mattress so you can actually do something with your life. Maybe, you know, scrape a few turds out of the urinals at the disgusting warehouse bathroom. It's raining outside, so how'd you get there? I mean, you must have got wet. Hope you had your little umbrella there, Queefy Boy. Your little crappy little Salvation Thrift Store Army umbrella that you got for $1. Hope you had that, because you all know you can't drive. You don't have a car. You definitely got wet on your way there. Your double XL might shrink today because it got all wet, idiot. And look at these comments. Let's just, let's just go over these comments. This is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. Renala of the Full Moon says, I'm probably going to buy this game now just to try the boss. Thanks for the tip. Are you kidding me? That's such a troll comment. Who's going to watch this video of Queefers playing friggin' Sonic and be like, oh, I'm going to buy this game. You do know, Renala, that um, Queefy Boy is the same idiot. Instead of actually playing Final Fantasy XI online, he was going around to the town of Sandoria looking for someone to marry for the lowest 20,000 gil package. That's how much of an incel Darius Truxton is. All right, he's not a gamer, he's nobody. Darius, I just want to know, was it the town of Sandoria? Was it the town of Bastok? Or was it the town of Windhurst? Where did you get married in Final Fantasy XI? Just let me know that, that's all I want to know. Community post it, I don't care. I just want to know, where did you pay that $20,000 gill cheap package? Which are those towns? Let me know. Look who's next, some racist prick that friggin' abuses his alcohol, uh, th drinks alcohol, then abuses his wife in his torture shack in his backyard in Oregon. What an o what an ugly looking boss. Oh yeah, thanks for the input there, moron. And then look what Darius says. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, a purple fox mech. Eggman's mech looks a lot cooler. Ooh, Queefy Boy with the little tech. Queefy Boy with the lore. The lore of Sonic, right? Meanwhile, the guy friggin' uh, his family thinks he's the biggest piece of trash. Why? Because his dad realizes that Darius Truxton failed every math class in friggin' high school. That's how much of a moron Darius Truxton is. And that's how much of no future Darius Truxton has in any professional environment or any type of career. That guy is gonna go around to friggin' different restaurants, washing dishes at Bojangles and Boston Pizza. And instead of actually washing dishes, he's gonna be looking at the server's black leggings because he's a friggin creep incel all right my god next look another one by dave c hey dave c thanks for the second comment idiot why can't you just put that in the same comment because you just want to show that you're the biggest cuck for darius truxton look at your next comment killing it dude i'm getting close to there in game see anything queefy boy does dave c will replicate if queefy boy friggin starts making love to Ricardo Cody on the premium futon, you best believe Dave C is gonna be the next one in Ricardo Cody stream making love to Ricar Ricardo Cody. You just know that. Look what Queefy Boy says to that. I've gotten a lot better at the game. Hey, how about getting better at life, Queefy Boy? How about actually doing something with your life so you're not an embarrassment on YouTube every single day because I roast you every single day. 
How about actually growing a set of balls and when next time when someone lifts you up and knocks you to the ground to beat you up, you don't grab, grab the guy's crotch? How about that? How about you learn how to do that instead of trying to get, um, instead of little queefers trying to get better at friggin' Sonic superstars? You moron. You're such a cuck and you're such a simp, Darius Truxton. You're the same loser that was at a game convention going, pick me, Pat, pick me, Pat, pick me, Pat. And then Pat, the NES punk, looks at you and like, who is this loser wearing a double XL shirt that says he's property of the game chasers? on? Like, I don't want this idiot on my friggin' panel playing a game with me. Get the hell out of here. And then Pat, the NES punk, probably picks like a family member or a child to play with. We don't care about you, queefy boy. Do something with your life. Do something where you're gonna, where your dad's gonna be like, wow, you're a success. No, but in their minds, you're a failure. Your mom thinks you're a failure too. And she had to bury her two dead cats. That's how much of a crybaby you are, Queefy boy. Now you have this new cat named Brooke, which is probably living under the worst conditions because for God's sakes, you still have not cleaned your vent. You're so pathetic that when you try to make a video on me or your little kitchen table rant, you hide the vent from the camera shot. That's how pathetic you are, idiot. You have your little queefy boy command center with friggin two crts and one crappy plasma that's from like five years ago you're sitting on your friggin cat pee smelling uh futon which is now smelling like male urine because you want ricardo kobe to come over there make love to you and then piss on it before he leaves that's you you're the same idiot, Darius Truxton, that when you're sleeping on your bed sheets, it smells like cat piss, because you even said on live stream that your cats peed on your goddamn mattress. Right? That's you. And now Robert, huh? Robert's getting a lot. Oh, yeah, by the way, effort trust, guys. Effort trust is who you might want to call if Robert or that weekend lady supervisor is giving you the cold shoulder. Maybe Effort Trust might want to know there's little queefers there raging and seething every single day and every single night, seething at Slotham. Let them know. Seething and raging, because Darius cries on the internet. You know, Darius wants to put this narrative out like, oh, he's not affected by anything. How many times have you just said that on a live stream? I'm not affected by Slotham. I'm not affected by this. Then why did he go to Team YouTube on Twitter and screenshot my home video page and then try to let get them to take my channel down? Because I do affect his life. I ruined his life. Why? Because he tried to freaking control my comment section and everything snowballed after that, didn't it? And then Alt Account 1, the legend came onto the scene, 2772 two dominoes again keep crying queef keep crying queef if i don't affect you darius truxton why did you freaking go on live stream and then try to bribe your own viewers and said you would give anyone a hundred dollars to get rid of slotham's channel why'd you do that because i do affect your life i ruined your life and now made you into the biggest lol cow on youtube with your ugly face and your name darius truxton in every single video how does that feel huh and now I see that friggin' Luis Pereira, aka Bobstein Island, turnip head, Robocop with no helmet on, cross-eyed, receding airline, receding hairline, worse than Donald Reed, that conehead. That piece of garbage makes a video directed toward me. Hey Lewis, here's some advice, all right? Here's some advice. Why don't you actually use your real voice? I know why. Because every time you use your real voice, you sound like a girl crying at the end of every sentence. And you know that's true. That's why you have a voice changer, Lewis, because you're embarrassed of your own friggin' feminine crying voice. You're friggin' on video trying to roast me in the past and you're twerking on video. No man like you should know how to perfectly twerk on video trying to roast me. You literally made fun of yourself and even your own keep it real stream rats over there, even they were weirded out. But since none of them have a set of balls to tell you to your face, they just were like, yeah, that's funny. You had freaking Donald Reed whacking off watching that video, right? He just can't wait. Donald Reed just can't wait for Darius Truxton to lose another channel. So then Darius, so then Donald Reed could be right there to toss him another verified phone number, bend over at 2772 and just give, present himself to Darius. He can't wait. So Lewis, you make a garbage one minute roast video, then I have friggin' Hobo Albo community post it like, oh, the heat, the heat. Hey, may I remind you, Hobo Albo, you five foot two shrimp prancing around the streets of Florida with your shirt off, looking like Nosferatu at nighttime. May I remind you that heat stream, yeah, what happened to it? Yeah, I will tell you what happened to it. Uh, Louis Pura tried to uh, imitate me or something that his mom was yelling at him to turn it off. Remember that? Remember when uh, we found out that Louis Pura has a mattress in the middle of his apartment, which he sleeps on, and then he had to have the TV on at night times doing his heat stream so that it could create white noise.
noise so his mom doesn't know what the hell's going on. Remember that, idiot? You want to talk about bring the heat? Uh, Louis Perez, the same moron that took his mom's butter knife and flashlight, flashed it on video and thought he was some sort of success on YouTube and roasting somebody. It ain't going to happen. All right, Luis Pereira was friggin' personally escorted off of YouTube by the DTL account after Luis got doxxed because Luis is so embarrassed that he's been breastfeeding off his mom for the last 35 years. Remember that? Yeah, hobo elbow. Get the hell out of here. Bring the heat. You guys can't even keep a keep it real stream going. Okay, because Donald Reed is so embarrassed. Apparently, he's so busy all of a sudden every weekend that he can't do a keep it real stream. Get the hell. No one sees. Everyone sees through your BS, Donald. Everyone sees through your BS. We know you were a cuck for Darius. You cucked so hard. You even tried to be, continue being a cuck. But even Darius was like, wow, this is too much, Donald. You're too obsessed with me. You're too much of a cuck. Just leave him alone. Even he got obsessed by your, uh, got weirded out by your cuckery, idiot. Then there's friggin' Dean TV, right? Dean TV, as Ron DeMond would say, failed father, right? Some piece of trash that waved away his rights to his own son when he was eight years old. Now, Victor Vegar, I heard you say that was the right thing to do, right? Yeah, I know that was the right thing to do, but that doesn't mean that Dean can come on YouTube and call himself a Greek god and this whole success story like he's the man when he waved away his rights to his own son at eight years old. He should be ashamed of himself. He should be embarrassed. Right? Because Dean TV apparently, oh yeah, I, I have my kid for the weekend and I pay child support. Yeah, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the easiest days to take care of a child when you're not there for Monday to Thursday to take your kid to school, make sure he's wake, waking up, make sure he's got breakfast, lunch money, lunch packed, picked up from school, does his homework. Oh, there's an assignment. Help him on the assignment. Oh, there's a test. Make sure you study so you don't play games. You're not there for that. Parent-teacher interview. When's the last time you went, Dean? You didn't. Why? Because you're not the legal parent. So shut your mouth. Failed steak. A crappy steak that he shows freaking looks like a school dinner from the most disgusting elementary school you can think of. All right. What else? Uh, failed YouTuber. 56,000 subscribers from Dean TV. Can't even break 30 views per video unless he does YouTube promotion ads and plays one cent per view to get his freaking views up to 10,000 or something like that. That's Queen TV right there and took the biggest L in his life by procreating with the most ugliest woman known to mankind. Like, do you not understand how much of an L that is, guys? Like, does that not comprehend? Dean wants to think that he's all this Greek god and, oh, he has all these muscles, six foot two Greek god, all this, yet he procreated with the most ugliest woman known to mankind on the level of friggin' Estella of James Campbell. That's pathetic. And James Campbell, your fat, disgusting hobgoblin nose is hideous. Get, get it checked out. Get something done, moron. All right? You're sitting there in your little colorful bathhouse sauna doing these stupid roasts. And then you're doing a roast with a 14 karat gold chain thinking you're some Mac Daddy. If you're some Mac Daddy, why isn't Estella with you in that sauna? I know why. Because there ain't room in that sauna because your big fat nose is taking up all the space. You got your stupid little koozie on your dumb beer of the day. You're turning into an alcoholic. Estella, some 400 pound fat Estella wife with a masculine haircut and friggin' 16 years older than you. That's who you chose, James. You you took an L already. You want to come on YouTube and be like, oh, I'm this cool guy doing overtime. Yeah, welcome to friggin' adulthood, moron. Yeah, it's time to be an adult now, right? No more jaywalking. No more getting hit by cars. No more not paying the ticket, leaving the state and going to your mommy's house in your sauna. You actually have to do adult things now, right? Maybe you should teach Queefy Boy how to be an adult instead of spending time making tutorial videos and Sonic Superstars. Maybe he should also do overtime. Maybe Queefy Boy should try to look for a job. Maybe Queefy Boy should try to actually get a car. Can you drive a car? No, you can't, James, because you're a short bus autistic prick, just like Rabbit Dude. Rabbit Dude, some moron that sits on his mattress, cries in the fetal position all day, with his stupid drawings on the damn friggin' walls that his mommy framed because she felt sorry for him. Hey, Rabbit Dude, how's that job search going? Hey, Rabbit Dude, how's that portfolio you're making? Complete useless garbage. Go to friggin' Walmart and bag groceries, you prick. 
And then there's Ricardo Cody. I've never seen a sorry case in my life than Ricardo Cody. That guy had some funny, he had a funny channel going with the Herbie Derbies and all that stuff against Dean TV and Albert. He throws the Herbie Derbies under the bus in hopes that he can get on the side of Darius Truxton because we all know Ricardo's sexually attracted to Darius. We all know that, right? So he goes over there and then Darius doesn't want to do what Ricardo says. And then Darius throws Ricardo under the bus. Now Ricardo is sitting there alone in his disgusting in the closet basement room with his three roommates making love to him. He's sitting there streaming literally by himself talking to Daushin Nubin, some chicken legged MS carrying piece of garbage that also doesn't work and also doesn't have a car. And Daushin Newman, by the way, uh, Ricardo, is trolling you in the comments. You do know that. That's your only friend now, Ricardo. You have no... Hey, Ricardo, you wanted to be put in the rotation, right? Oh, Slotham, think about me. Oh, Slotham, talk about me. Oh, rotation, rotation. Now no one even cares about you. You're irrelevant, Ricardo. You're a sorry sack of crap sitting there with your miserable face crying on the internet saying, I don't want drama anymore. You're going to be right back into the drama, boy. You're a loser, Ricardo. You disappointed me a lot with what you did. You're so stupid and you're so love-struck by friggin' Darius that you literally threw away all your friends just to get in a good side of him and he threw you under the bus. I told you Darius Truxton is a selfish piece of garbage right from the beginning. I told you guys. He doesn't care about anyone else but himself. He just wants to save himself. That's why when he got 2772, what did he do? He ran away like a coward for three months, crying on the internet, saying he wants to watch cable TV and watch men wrestle like LA Knight when he went to the SmackDown event. That's who Darius Truxton is, all right? And Queefy Boy, keep keep doing your little antics in your community posts. Thanks for the content, by the way. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.